out of which 5000 are found exclusively in india there are about 15000 flowering plants in india there are 89000 animal species in india and there are about 2500 species of fish in india this you have to learn by heart okay the forest as well as wildlife resources are our national wealth this to we all know forests are classified as two first evergreen and second deciduous forest evergreen forests are of how many types yes there are four types the first one is tropical evergreen forest then mid latitude evergreen forest then mediterranean forest and fourth one is coniferous forest fourth point deciduous forests are, are of how many types yes two types tropical deciduous forest and mid latitude deciduous forest forests are under constant threat due to growth of population demand of agriculture and industrialization these are the three reasons behind depletion of forest resources population because of growth of population we need more land and hence it results in deforestation due to demand of agriculture we need to grow more and more crops and they still need in the land so they cut trees and hence results in deforestation due to industrialization more and more industries are grown are are being established so they need land and hence trees are cut we should conserve forests by indulging in afforestation planting more trees keeping a check on urban growth and check on grazing wildlife is very useful for us and there is a need to conserve it they are very useful as we get meat honey milk and their skin from them as well as their tones their notes are very useful for the for the poets and painters they are a good foreign exchange earners as well so we need to conserve it government has taken various steps to conserve the endangered species of wildlife endangered means which are which are in danger to extinct india has 89 national parks 490 wildlife sanctuaries and 18 biosphere reserves to protect wildlife again indian government is has also appointed certain forest officer just just to invigilate the forest that still if anybody is still practicing such kind of evil practice of killing animals he or she will be imprisoned for that again students these figures are not latest i agree with you theek hai but in your book these figures are given so just learn these only for exam purpose and once your school gets open will make a change will 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 change it by the latest figures theek hai for now just learn all these figures 89 490 18 then 47000 89000 and so on yes students i hope you understood whatever i taught you today in the revision video now get ready for the rapid fire round students i am having 30 questions right here i'll be asking you one by one and i'll be giving you some time for that and i'll be answering the questions as well theek hai you have to judge yourself that yes you know each and every question and you are prepared for your ss exam theek hai so let's get started question number first in e firstly i'll be asking you from chapter number 25 then will be moving on to chapter number 18 theek hai why india is called a secular state why india is con considered as a secular state yes india is called a secular state because there is no official religion in india we respect each and every religion we give due respect to each and every religion and there is no one or no official religion of its own therefore we can say india is a secular state each and every religion is given due respect and there is no foundation on us to follow a particular religion no one is putting any foundation on us that we have to follow this religion only because there is no official religion of its own question number 2 why is it necessary to separate religion from state why we have to separate religion from state yes we have to separate religion from state to ensure equality then in order to ensure that one minority community is not dominated by another majority community or third in order to adhere with the right that has been given to you that is right to freedom of religion so these are the three main reasons that why state keeps itself away from religion theek okay? hai question number 3 who will uh, sorry who are were not allowed to display anything that promote any religion who are were not allowed to display anything that promotes any religion not allowed 
Yes, all the government institutions like government school, government offices, law courts, police stations, they are not at all allowed to display anything that promotes any religion. Okay, then who are will allowed? If the government institutions are not allowed, who all were allowed? क्या फिर किन को हमने परमिशन किन के ऊपर हमने ऐसा रिस्ट्रिक्शन इम्पोज नहीं कर रखा है कि आप कुछ भी ऐसा डिस्प्ले करें दैट प्रमोट्स एन रिलीजन हाँ जी बचे क्या प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूशन या फिर प्राइवेट स्कूल्स तो इनके ऊपर कोई बाउंडेशन नहीं है कि आपको भी कुछ ऐसा ही डिस्प्ले करना है दैट प्रमोट्स एनी रिलीजन आपको ऐसा डिस्प्ले नहीं करना है दैट प्रमोट्स एनी रिलीजन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ वन कम्युनिटी डज नॉट डैश अदर कम्युनिटी आई रिपीट वन कम्युनिटी डज नॉट डैश अदर कम्युनिटी यस वन कम्युनिटी डज नॉट इंटरफेयर अदर कम्युनिटी ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इंडिया हैज अडॉप्टेड अ स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ इंडिया हैज अडॉप्टेड वन स्ट्रेटेजी कैन यू टेल मी दट स्ट्रेटेजी यस इंडिया हैज अडॉप्टेड द स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ नॉन इंटरफेरेंस इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट द इमोशंस इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन द ट्रू स्पिरिट ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इंडिया हैज अडॉप्टेड विच स्ट्रेटेजी स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ नॉन इंटरफेरेंस ओके but sometimes indian state has to interfere in certain matters do you agree sometimes indian state has to interfere in certain matters although india has adopted the strategy of non interference but sometimes india has to interfere do you agree yes i do okay can you tell me the matters in which indian state interferes Yes, we agree that Indian state has to interfere. Now, can you tell me the matters in which Indian state is bound to interfere? Yes, untouchability. It has done a great wrong with our community, with our society, with Indian society. Then infanticide. Then in order to protect, in order to give right to inheritance to all the all the Hindu women, as well as uh, there are certain exceptions to the law in which Sikh community are not allowed to wear helmet as they used to wear. टर्बन ठीक है ओके वन बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूएसए एंड इंडिया यस इन यूएसए द स्टेट इज नॉट एट ऑल स्टेट कैन नॉट इंटरफेयर इन द रिलीजियस मैटर वेर एज इन इंडिया स्टेट कैन इंटरफेयर ठीक है सो दर इज अ रिजिट सेपरेशन इन यूएसए क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन डिफाइन इन्फेंटिसाइड Yes, infanticide means killing of girl child at her very age. Okay. Question number eleven: Will Indian government interfere if someone is still practicing infanticide? Will Indian government will still interfere if someone is still practicing infanticide? Yes, Indian government will definitely interfere if someone is someone is still practicing this inhuman practice. Okay. Question number. 12 define natural vegetation yes natural vegetation refers to the refers to all plant community that has been grown naturally without any human interference or without any human involvement can you tell me the other name of natural vegetation yes flora define wildlife resources Yes, wildlife resources refers to all the animals, birds, insects, and aquatic life forms. Okay. Other name of wildlife resources. Yes, fauna. They exist. Both wildlife resources and natural vegetation exist in a narrow zone called. Yes, biosphere. Species of plants. How many species of plants are there in India? Yes. Forty-seven thousand. How many species of animals are there in India? Yes, eighty-nine thousand. How many species of plants are exclusively found in India? Yes, five thousand. How many flowering plants are there in India? Yes, fifteen thousand. How many species of fish are there in India? Yes, twenty-five hundred. Forests are classified into how many types? Yes, two. Can you name them? Yes, evergreen forest and deciduous forest. Name the types of evergreen forest. How many types are there? Yes, there are four types. Can you name them? Yes. First one is tropical evergreen forest. Second, 
mid-latitude evergreen forest, third, Mediterranean forest, and fourth, coniferous forest. Good. Name the types of deciduous forest. There are two types of deciduous forest. Can you name them? Yes. Tropical deciduous forest and mid-latitude deciduous forest. Okay. Reasons behind depletion of forest. Why forest resources are being depleted? Tell me the reasons. There are three reasons. First one, growth in population. Second one, demand for agriculture. And third one, industrialization. Ways of conserving forest. How can we conserve forest? Yes, again there are three ways. First, uh, forestation. Second, check on urban growth. And third, check on grazing. Okay. How many national parks are there? Yes, 89. How many wildlife sanctuaries are there in India? Yes, 490. How many biosphere reserves are there in India? Yes, 18. In order to invigilate the forest, who were appointed by the government? Just to check that whether that still uh, no one, uh, that whether they are, whether there are some individuals who are still practicing uh, hunting or not. Hunting of animals. Who were appointed by government? Yes, there are certain forest officers who have been appointed by the government just to ensure that still no one is killing these animals. Okay, so that's it for a rapid fire round. All the 30 questions are covered. I hope you understood everything and I really hope that you have answered each and every question. Right? If you have any doubts or queries, feel free to ask me and best of luck for your exam students. I know that you'll scare, you'll score full marks in SS. So thank you and bye bye.